Hi, my name is Thomas Eppel. I'm a lecturer at the Paul Marat School of Business at UC Irvine, uh, but I'm still teaching here at Cranard, where I used to be a professor in the early 90s. The purpose of the risk management course, well, let me start out by saying what it is not. It is not a course on financial risk management. It is a course on how to manage risks in the more general sense. And so we understand risks in this class, not, as, not only as the downside risk that we usually think of when we hear this term, but also in terms of upside potential. So whenever there is uncertainty, that to me means risk. And uh, we're not gonna concentrate just on financial risk, but look at all kinds of other risks, health risks, contractual risks, and emphasize, of course, again, and that's the second part of the name of this class, how managers make decisions in light of all these uncertainties and risks. My background is actually in what's called mathematical psychology, and that explains also even the structure in terms of how I teach this particular class. So there is a quantitative part to it, dealing with models of risk like decision trees, specific techniques like uh, Monte Carlo simulation, sensitivity analyses. Uh, so there is a whole bunch of quantitative techniques that we're gonna go through in the first part of this class. But the second part, that's where the psychologist in me uh, wakes up and uh, we'll talk about the behavioral aspects of risk management. 